Hello everybody, this is Jeff Williams, founder of Team Catfish Tackle Company. I put this introduction together because I want you to know everybody here at Team Catfish understands why you're out there after the catfish. Hey, we were the number one brand in catfishing tournaments in 2008, and the way things are starting out in 2009, uh, it looks like it's going to be another excellent year for us. We want you to check out TeamCatfish.com, the tackle, the awards, the how-to catfishing videos, the bait and tackle news. This stuff was all put together by lifelong catfish anglers for folks that want to learn more about catfishing and want to understand and be a part of a community that understands other catfish anglers. Hey, whether you're fishing lakes or rivers, we don't care. We just want you to go out with your family, friends, have a good time, and enjoy catfishing. Thank you. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Team Catfish video. I'm Jeff Williams. Uh, today we're traveling up Bird Creek and we're in search of blue cats and channel cats fishing with the Secret 7 dip bait. Now, Bird Creek runs into the uh, Arkansas River Navigation Channel at the Port of Catoosa, which is the uh, uppermost uh, lock and dam uh, pool um, on the Arkansas River Navigation System. And it uh, gets full of catfish this time of year after we've had some spring runoff and those fish are looking uh, to make a spawning run up in the rivers. We hope you enjoy our video. Check out teamcatfish.com for all our other how-to catfishing hey, videos. What we got going on here? <laughs> we're at the end of the line. I know that. Feel like we got a pretty big ripple here in front of us. That's the end of the line for the jet boat. <laughs> I can promise you. Now this uh, this jet boat will get you in some uh, really shallow water, but I don't think it climb a hill, will it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well anyway, uh, what we're doing here today uh, is a pattern that folks can fish all over the country. We're, we are in uh, May right now and these channel cats and blue cats make a spawning run up into these uh, creeks and rivers out of the main, uh, main water system. And we're going to be looking for fast water and we're going to be looking for current funnels where you see the current going down through the the creek the fastest or we might end up fishing by some some sticks some big logs well we got a few bites i just missed one had one about yank the uh, rod right down to the water here and jerry had two bites we left our we left our big riffles up there and we just moved down not very far we just moved down about 100 yards maybe We didn't hardly have any action up there at all, did we, Jerry? No. Hey, there he went. I'm gonna try to get Jerry was rebaiting. This is gonna be interesting. Let me see if I can put this back in the rod holder. And... Blue cat. Well, does that mean we're not skunked? I mean, we're not skunked now. Maybe that's just the start of a good day. What do you got, Jerry? Oh, got me a nice channel cat. Channel cat. Well, we've got a blue cat and a channel cat now. Oh, yeah. Pretty little channel cat. Hey. Well, we've got a blue cat and a channel cat here in the same spot. But we've got lots of little bites, but not a whole lot of good action yet. Boy, he laid that down, didn't he? I thought, yeah, he's there. Yeah, he's there. Oh, yeah. Boy. <laughs> Trying to keep him from getting in that other line. Well, I'd roll it up, but I'm busy. Now we got some current here, but 
I think that fish is going to be kind of heavy too. Looks like he is. Hey. Oh no, the other, he's either got tangled up in the other rod or it's getting ready to go down. He must have got tangled up in it. Yeah, it's getting slack. Just stay with him. I got a knife. We can untangle it. Get tangled up and stuff because it sure got hard to fall in. You want me to shut this off and uh, no. roll it in? That furry thing's working, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Furry thing and the 5 watt double action hook. If that's a channel cat, you got you a big one. <laughs> that's a blue. Yeah, he's nice blue. Oh, yes. Now it's, it, the water's plenty swift right here. I mean to tell you. Oh yeah, you got a good one. I'm trying to put the three-quarter ton on him here. Get him up here where I can get the fish grip on him. You can see the furry thing in the five-aught hook right there in his mouth. That phone rings every time I'm catching a fish. I don't know who always is calling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Nice. Blue nice cat. blue cat for a little old creek like this, huh? You betcha. Yeah. Hey, now that's fun. That looked like work to me. <laughs> that's fun. That is a nice blue cat. And he, he, uh, he hammered it, didn't he? Yes, he did. Hey, we like to see that. Now, uh, again, I'm going to show you what I was using here. I've got a little bit of a tangle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this fish go. Then I'm going to show you what rig I was what rig I was using to put in that secret seven. Bye bye, fishy. Down he goes. Now here's a rig I was using. It's tangled up in my other line out there. Now, that's our mini furry thing bait holder, and that's our 5 aught 5 aught double action hook. It's straight. I haven't offset it anyway. And then my, my furry thing's getting a little loose here on me because I've caught a few fish on it. You just take that mini furry thing and you just push it right down there in the gap, wide gap part of your hook right there. And that's what I'm using in this fast current. I'm using a one of our, uh, we were in some pretty bad rocks. I was using one of our two ounce smooth operator snagless sinkers. But, uh, hey Jerry, I'm ready to get that back out there and get after another one. I'm shutting this off. Hey everybody, thanks for watching part one. Be sure and check out part two of Bird Creek. Uh, we'll have more exciting action with the Secret 7 catfish bait.